going. There you are. I'm on. Where? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, the train's nearly going. <laughs> trains don't nearly go, darling. Either they go or they stay where they are. See? <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold on. Here, I'll follow. Don't worry, it's quite all right. <laughs> I suppose we're in the right part of the train. Well, darling, it looks all right to me. Yes, but I mean we want to go to the right place, don't we? Anywhere you go is the right place for me. Oh, darling, you do say nice things. <laughs> yes, I know I do. Oh. Well, here, now I'll go and get some papers. Well, hurry up. I'm sure the train's going to go. Now, don't you worry, darling. I'll be back long before it does that. Excuse me, I've got a paper. Well, so do I. Yes, all right. I, I, I beg your pardon. Great heavens! Marguerite! Peter! Darling! Fancy meeting you! Yes, Robin, how delightful. It must be nearly two years since I haven't seen you. Yes, and we haven't seen you. <laughs> Peter! Peter! You know you haven't changed a bit. Good. Oh, yes, you have. You've been married, haven't you? So have you. Yes, rather. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and where are you going now? I'm going to stay with the Bunter. The Bunter? Mm -hmm. And so are we. Oh. Yes. Peter! Good heavens, he's missed it. What are you doing? Peter! Peter! Is your wife going with you? Oh, rather. Yes. She's in that... Good Lord. Here, quick! Oh, oh curse Father Death! I wouldn't have had this happen for the world. Oh, well, what about me? You've made me miss it too. Well, oh, no, never mind about that. Poor little Barbara. Gone without me. What can we do? Now, what can we do, Peter? I know. We'll go back to my flat and ring up for a car. And we'll get there almost as soon as the train. Good. Come along then. Let's do that. All right. But, um... About your wife. We will explain to her naturally. She will understand, won't she? Oh, of course. She's a darling. But she has a mother. Oh. <laughs> oh I see. <laughs> but surely her mother is not going to make any fuss about a little thing like this. Oh, certainly not. Unless, of course, she finds out. She's a beauty. Oh. But her father's all right. Oh, he's a great sport. You know, sort of... What a cube later. George? What? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Gargling. <laughs> Barbara's? Why? I just had a wire from her. Something very serious has happened. What is it? It's that husband of hers. <laughs> He's put his foot in it this time. Put his foot in what? Open the door and come out. How the devil can I come out if I don't open the door? You do say some damn silly things. Boah. Don't fiddle and diddle. I wasn't fiddling and diddling. You can't leave me alone for a minute. Hurry up and get your coat. We've got to go to Barbara's at once. Oh! This is funny, isn't it? Oh, is it? <laughs> Both of us going to the Bunters. You with a wife I have never seen, and me with a husband you have never seen. Great Scott. You don't mean to tell me your husband's on the train with my Barbara? No, no, he's not coming down till tomorrow. Oh, I see. He's sitting late tonight. Sitting late? Why, is he, is he broody or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's an MP. Good evening, ma'am. Who was she? Have you any idea? I don't know who she was, ma'am. A strange young lady. A foreigner, it struck me, with a little dog. A little what? Dog. 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 Gone? 
Mr. Wickham seemed in a great hurry. He went straight and telephoned to Gamble's garage for a car at once for a long journey. You see? Gone. They stayed here some time. And then? Then the car come. And then? Then away they went, together. I knew something of this sort would happen. Uh, was, uh, what happened to the little dog? That will do. I've had a telegram saying Mrs. Wickham is returning. I shall remain until she comes in. Thank you, Mum. George! What? I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing for it. Well, what are we going to do? I'll have to get back to a garage and have her taken in tow. And what's going to happen to us? I don't know. We'd better find a pub and get some food. But where is a pub? Well, how should I know, my dear Oh, look. Here comes a local. Local? <laughs> you mean yokel? Well, local yokel. It looks a dear old thing to me. Oh. Looks to me like a very old boy scout. Tell me, where's the nearest pub? Uh, Maiden Blatton. Maiden Blatton. <laughs> Stag I'll be going there. I'll show you. That's good. We'd better take my suitcases. Yeah, well, he can carry them. Not at all. Why? He looks too old and decrepitous. You carry them. Well, uh, I'm feeling a bit decrepitous myself. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. You should have forbidden the marriage. I told you so. <laughs> you did? Often. But very likely Barbara knows all about it. This is what Barbara knows about it. He missed the train on purpose. He's probably living with this woman. Oh! Nonsense, Constance. Thank goodness. Here she is. Barbara. My poor child. Come in. Is Peter here? No, dear, he is not. It is Barbara. Yes, I guess it would be. I'm absolutely fagged out. Father, there's some wine in the cupboard. Oh, thank you very much, my dear. That's very thoughtful of you. For me, I mean. Oh, I see. Still, all the same, where is the cupboard? Oh, you know where it is. Yes, you're quite right, I do. Now, my poor child, tell me exactly what happened. Well, Peter and I went to Paddington. We got into the train, both of us. Then Peter got out and went to buy some papers. The next thing I knew was the train began to move. I jumped up and put my head through the window. Good heavens. The window was open. Oh, I see. Will you stop fiddling and get the wine? I've got it. Peter was standing with his back to the train, talking to a young woman. She was no one I knew. What did you do? What could I do? I shouted and waved, and no one took the slightest notice of me, except one offensive-looking man who waved back. You should have rung the alarm bell. Oh, I don't suppose he'd have heard it. The wine. Gone, dear. I got out at Reading and wired you and came straight home. Oh, Mother, what do you think has really happened? I had the lady a little um, a dog. Dog? The wine. Yes. Right. Bring up Gamble's garage. We may find out something from them. Gamble's garage? Yes. All right. That's what I said, didn't I? We seem to be walking for hours. Yes. I don't think I've got any feet left. Come on, old boy. Where is this pub? Down the road, round the lane. Past the stacks, and the way along. Yes, you mean a long way. All right, all right, all right, I've got it. Um... I'll speak. Oh, that'll be a nice change. 
But for once in a way, let me have a say. I think we should wire. We ought to inquire. Are you trying to be funny? Oh, Lord, there you are, you see. Always the same. If Father suggests anything... <coughs> what? Well, of course I'm here. Is that, um... Is that, um... What is it? The, the um... Is that, um... Uh, whatever the number is... Oh, give it to uh, me. Leave it, leave it, leave oh. it. Uh, um... Are you, um, a, a thingamabobs, what's the name? Oh, get out! Ah, that damn you talk! Good gracious! How much further is it? It'll be dark soon. There, there be standing one. Yonder. Yonder. It looks very desolate. <laughs> it looks absolutely obsolete. Where is this place? Oh, mm-hmm, yes, thank you. What, Mother? Quickly. The car broke down. They went off together to the nearest hotel. The chauffeur got a lift and telephone gambles. But where is this hotel? A place called Maiden Blotton. I shall go there straight away. Not tonight, dear. You can go by the first train tomorrow. But that may be too late. Oh, I should think you'd be too late, even if you did go tonight. You seem very experienced. No, just an ordinary public school education. I can't believe there's anything wrong. I do love him. We were so happy. There you are, you see. You see what you've done? You've made her cry. Now, now, come, come, now. Dry eyes, now. Dry eyes. Come on. Besides, you don't know that there's anything to cry for yet. Pa! Well, pa to you. Just because a fella uh, happens to meet a girl accidentally, it doesn't necessarily... Oh, Daddy, then you don't really think he went off with her on purpose? Well, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the woman yet. Oh. Now, now, come, come, now, stop that. Come on. Here you are, drink, drink this up. That'll do you good. No, thank you. I don't want any now. You don't? Well, that's extraordinary. It, it, it seems such a waste. Put that down. And you stop nagging at me. Well, you deserve it. I get if you got all you deserve. Now, don't you two quarrel. That won't help. Quite right, dear. Well, then, whatever happens, we'll stay as we are. Peaceful and united. We must not have words in front of the child. I don't want to. Nor do I. I've always been a family man. The most all things I can't love and in the home. Thank you, Daddy. I do love to hear you say that. Yes. All right, then. That's how it should be. So you stop it, dear. Hear? Now, don't you worry any more, Mother. I'll go to this hotel at Maiden Blotton first thing tomorrow morning. I can get a very early train from Paddington. Kate? Now, we must go at once. We've time to catch a night train. What the deuce do you intend doing? I intend to get to that hotel tonight. I know that man, and I mean to know that woman. Catch them at the hotel, but they'll have gone to bed. I know they will. That's just the point. So that's where you intend to walk in and catch them? Of course it is. Do you mean to tell me that you're going to burst into this woman's bedroom? Yes. Oh, I see. Oh, well, in that case, perhaps I'd better come too. Here be. At last. Yes, but what miles? Look at my shoes. Oh, I don't look at them all the time. Just look at them and carry on with the conversation. What a place. Yes. Tell me, does anything ever happen on this road? Puddy's pigs pass by here. Oh. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> 
Well, there you are. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Gosh. Huh. Well, I expect we can get some food of sorts. I doubt it. Even the pigs pass by. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, can you tell me where I can find the landlord? Not yet. I'm his widow. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, can we stay here for a bit? I'm completely occupied. Oh, we are sorry if you're busy, but... Uh, I tell you, I'm completely occupied. Oh, you mean you're full up? Completely occupied. Oh, hell. Well, can we get some food here? Not if you blaspheme. Mm -hmm. He's sorry, sorry. He didn't mean you to hear. Oh, whether I hear or no, <laughs> it all goes down in the book. The book? What, what book? book? The book from which there is no rubbing out. Oh, how dreadful. Well, well where's the nearest town? Down Blotton, five miles on. Five miles. Well, haven't you got a cab or a cart or an ox or anything that is yours? No <laughs> such thing. Oh. Well, isn't there a telephone? Yes, sit down, Blotton. George Mill, sportsman. All the best. George? What? Where are you? In the bathroom. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Oh. Listen. <laughs> How many more times am I to tell you to hurry up? Well, I haven't had any dinner. Your daughter's on the brink of disaster, and you burble about dinner. Besides, I gave you a biscuit. A biscuit? Who do you think I am? Something at the zoo? Yes, I ought to be. Now do you want any more? Yes. What? Nuts. Oh! Now then, stop that. Stop that, stop it. If there's one thing that you do that annoys me more than another, it is that. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. This is hopeless. Surely the old woman will give us some food. But she said she wouldn't. She said she would if you didn't blaspheme. Oh, blaspheme. Now go in and ask her again, without blaspheming. Well, it's very difficult, but I'll try. Off you go. Off you go. Do you think I keep my hotel open to couples living in shame? We're only hiking together. Couples don't hike together without shame. Off you go and off you stay. Excuse me. We've hiked a long way to get here. I'm quite without shame. So, uh, may we have some food? Oh. I take it you are married. Of course we are married. <laughs> yes, both of us. Well, come inside. You'll excuse me being careful, but one spit. I wonder who bit her. I just said there's a drop of soup left over. Left over from what? Don't annoy her, Peter. Or we shan't even get the soup. Well, where do you suppose we are going to sleep? Perhaps there's a cottage somewhere. Cottage. Oh, do ask. Ask who? Oh, look. There's something. <coughs> Allow me, will you? Now, look here, my man. <laughs> Tell me. Is this, uh, is this a big village or... or um... Or a small village? No, sir. Ah. Well, what I mean is, uh, do you know anywhere where we could put up? In the village? No, sir. I isn't there a cottage or something? Cottage? No, ma'am. There be only four cottages, and in them they already sleep some Elsie, in my opinion. Unhealthy? Six and seven in a bedroom, mostly. Oh. I see you mean a sort of whisk drive. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> really? Oh, oh yes, sir. Hmm. <laughs> well, uh, can I have some beer? Oh, I see. Oh, good. I suppose you have some real country beer here. Oh, I see. Hmm, I see. All change, 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 Good Lord, I, I was dreaming I was a Christian among the lions. Well, where are we? This is Piddock. What? Piddock. Is, is, is that it? No. How far is it to Maiden Blossom? Lummy, I don't know. Why not? And don't call my wife Lummy. Show sure, a little respect for a lady, can't you? Even if you had gone and made a marine's multicolored muddle of the whole everything. Go on, get out, can't you? We must get a car. Where is there a car? Doubtful if you get one down here. You might try Pinhorn down the road. What? Pinhorn. Did you hear that? Come along. Get my bag. We'll go down the road and try Pinhorn. Hmm. I should like to give you something to try. Any other husband would have dished you up a spot of weed killer. Oh, Gladys, how many rooms are there in this hotel? Two, sir. Two. Number one and number two. Mm -hmm. We are in number two, Peter. Oh, I see. Uh, what's number one doing? Uh, there's an old lady in there, sir. She's bedridden. Mm. Oh, poor dear old lady. Is she suffering? Yes, sir. She's got... <laughs> Yes, that, that must be rather painful, mustn't it? Yes. Is, uh, is there anything after this? There's some cheese. Oh, I see. What is that, cheese? <laughs> she means cheese. It's a very, very old Cheshire word. Yes. What, uh, what kind of, um, cheese? <laughs> well, I, I don't think we'd have any of that. <laughs> What's the row? You've got a car. Well, I know that. What about it? Well, I want it. I've got to go somewhere in it. Who says so? Well, my wife. It's getting pretty late, ain't it? I don't want to know what the time is. Well, where do you want to go to? Well, it's, it's, um, it's a girl's a maiden's blood in pad or something. I don't know. Well, how far is it? Well, how do I know? If I knew how far it was, I should know the name of the place, wouldn't I? Not necessarily. What? Not necessarily. Now, take China, for instance. What sort of China? You know where China is, but you don't know how far it is. Not strictly speaking, so to put it more or less, to guess at it roughly as it were haphazard. Yeah, well, I'd like... <laughs> I'd like some of that, too. Some of what? Some of what you've been drinking. Oh, hold on. Look out, be careful. You nearly had me off. Oh, big boob. I think, madam, I'll take the dog now, and there'll be this book to sign. Huh. I suppose that's the book from which there is no rubbing out. Oh. What name is it? Oh, the name, yes, that's right, yes. Uh, she's got it. Hickit. <laughs> that's right, Hickit. Ah, oh, good evening, Mrs. Spokar. I'm having a terrible time tonight with my motorbike. I wonder if you can give me a little oil. I want oiling. Well, you can't come here and get oiled. Hello! Why, good gracious me! Surely it's Mrs. Hickett. Well! How do you do? Mr. Slowly Jones! Yes. <laughs> the first time I've seen you since you got married. Yes. Fancy meeting you here. Not a bog down. Oh, bad luck. And this, of course, is your husband. First time we've met, isn't it? I hope so. <laughs> I'm so delighted to meet you. Oh, not at all. Being an MP must be very hard work. Yes. I followed your career in the house, you know. <laughs> oh, you mustn't follow me about like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, I suppose I'd better be pushing off. That is, if you're sure I can't get what I want here. 
Well, good night, Mrs. Hickett. Good night, Mrs. Everett. Oh, I say hello by Christopher. What a nice little dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your little dog, Mrs. Hickett? Yes. A dear little dog. Nice little dog. Pretty little dog. <laughs> good night, little dog. Good night, little man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now I'll take the dog to the stable. If you'll kindly sign the register. Now, Fred, put this in the stable. Hi, Mrs. Spoker. Mrs. Turner. That person knows you. You needn't worry about him. He won't remember you. Oh, I hope not. Then there's this register book. I can't sign your husband's name. I'll sign it. You don't write very clear. No, and you see, we've just had some very thick soup. I expect, madam, you'll be ready to retire now. Yes, yes, I think I will. Mm -hmm. Good night. Shall I come up too, dear? Yes, please. <laughs> I, I was talking to my wife. Yes. Uh, the bedroom is on the next floor, isn't it? It is. Oh, I see, yes. Uh, the, the one above this? Yes. <laughs> and uh, the bedridden old lady, is she on the same floor? Next to you. So oh. you'll kindly observe as much quiet as possible. <laughs> I, I shan't take any notice of her at all. And where do you sleep, Mrs. Spicer? Oh. Then why do you want to know? Oh, did, did I say that? <laughs> I, I, I don't want to know at all, thank you. Oh, I shall hear you if you call. Oh, I'm not likely to call on you. I'll call you. Yes. Well, thank you. That'll be it. Oh. Alfred! Have you lit the fire in number two? Hi, Mrs. Spogart. So what you want the fire for, I don't know, on a summer's night? Have you locked the back door? Hi, Mrs. Spogart. And have you done all those things that you ought to have done? Hi, Mrs. Spogart. Then turn out the lights and go to bed. Hi, Mrs. Spogart. Is this it? No, we took the wrong road. What do you mean, we've took the wrong road? I haven't taken it, have I? That's simply a matter of a figure of speech. Yes, well, it's the kind of figure I don't like. You're in this car, ain't you? Yes, and I don't mind telling you I'd rather be in my hearse. Think how fine expiration, for instance. What? There's a party of alpine climbers all roped together. One is his foot slip and takes the toss right down the abyss. What are you talking about? The whole party goes off at the top of the mountain and falls well upon its bottom. Are you trying to tell me a dirty story? So it's no use you saying we haven't took the wrong road, because we have. Well, get off it then. I've a darn good mind to get off my seat. Yes, well, I've been off mine half the time. Will you stop that? Hold on, I shall have to back. What the blazes do you think you're doing? Oh. What are you doing now? Well, I, I was uh, l looking for a melon. A melon? <laughs> yes. What may you be doing with that blanket? Blanket? Oh, oh, the blanket. You, you mean the blanket? Oh, yes, that's right. Yes. I was just going to slip out to the stable and wrap the little dog in the little, little blanket. <laughs> What's in my best blanket? Oh, this is your best one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it was the other one. <laughs> well, never mind. Good night. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I thought I'd gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Excuse me. Thank you. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter? Never mind about the little dog. He'll be all right. I thought you said it was a she. Well, oh, yes, it was, but that was years ago. <laughs> yes. I'll make inquiries. You, you stay here and rest. Don't stand there babbling. You go and find out the way.
Well, what's up? Oh, help. Please help. Very good fella. Something disastrous has occurred. Why, what? My poor wife in that car. What's the matter with her? Shh, not so loud. She's fainted. Why? Why? Well, why not? Oh, well, I'll have a look at her. Oh, I wouldn't do that. She looks awful. Look here. I believe you're trying to kid me into serving you with a drink. What? You calling me a liar? I don't know yet. I'll have a look. How dare you doubt my word? I'm very sorry, sir. You see, we get a good many here trying it on. Oh, so you thought I was that sort of person, did you? Oh, no, sir, no. Come in. Now, perhaps you'd better take the lady a small glass of brandy. Oh, I think she'd prefer a large glass of port. Oh. There you are, sir. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I'll settle for this when I bring the glass back. Good? Well, as a matter of fact, she really doesn't know she's had it. She's very bad. It's made me feel rather faint myself. I suppose if I uh, if I stayed here the night, I could I could have uh, have something to take. All right, but hadn't you better bring the lady in? Well, that's going to be rather difficult. I think I'd I'd like a little something first. No. Well, as regards rooms, I can let you have two singles or a double. Oh, I think I'd prefer a double. George! By gad, she's better. Come out of this. All right, all right. Wait a minute. How, um, how much was that? One and four, please. One and four. You're good enough to keep the change. Oh, thank you, thank you. Are we, are we going the right way for, um... Maiden Blotten. Oh, no, no, you're going the wrong way. No, no. Oh, oh there you are, you see. Now we know. We didn't come here for nothing. Come in, come in. Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me. What's the matter with you now? I can't sleep in the parlor. Nonsense, Peter. Why not? Because I can't get in the parlor. It's locked. Where have you been all this time? I haven't been anywhere all the time. But I've been everywhere where one can, and where one can, one can't sleep. What about the back door? I've been through there. Where does it lead to? To the back. Hence the expression, back door. Well, come in. No, 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 I, I, I mustn't. Don't be so silly. Come in, come in. Oh, I don't do that. I hope Benz is all right. Oh, that's all you think of. <laughs> for you. I've tested the stables. Did you go in the stables? One doesn't have to. I tested them from the back door. I suppose you can't sleep on the stairs. You're right. I've tried the stairs and I cannot sleep there on. But there must be somewhere. I've been through every door that isn't locked. Even the bedridden old ladies. <laughs> Good heavens, what happened? Nothing. She just cocked an eye at me and murmured, he knows. I give anything for a bed like yours. Then you can't be hard to please. It goes up and down in the middle like the lump of a camel. Only it does it twice. <laughs> That's a drama there, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think I must be rather restful after you worked yourself in the right position. 
Is it raining? Raining? <laughs> I should think it is. It's pouring all over the place. I pity anyone who's out on a night like this. Yes, I know. That's all very well. But what about me? Never mind about you. You do something to stop this leaking roof. I'm getting saturated. If you don't like it, out you get. And don't you be rude to my wife. You keep your blasted elbow out of my ribs. I've had enough for one night. You've had enough, have you? <laughs> By Jove, I wish I had. But if you don't get back and drive on, I'll drive the thing myself. Oh, no, you won't. Well, now if I get it, I'll show you. Oh. Hello. Look here, Peter. There is only one thing to be done. Take this pillow, and with your blanket, get down on the floor and go to sleep. But supposing anybody found out? To any decent-minded person, there is nothing wrong in your sleeping on the floor of my room, is there? Yes, but where's the decent-minded person? This is the worst of sleeping in other people's bedrooms. You can get well under the washstand. You'll be all right there. On the contrary, the wind is also blowing straight into the washstand. Hurry up, Peter, and don't footle about. Dash it all, let me pick my own pitch. If I lie on the floor all night, in the teeth of a gale, I shall die. If you never have anything worse happen to you than to have to sleep on the floor of an inn. You'll find my body neath the shade of the old washing stand. I line the other way around. That's a good idea. I'm round. Is that better? Better than what? Here. Don't you touch nothing. Why, Dad, I'll touch you in a minute if you don't hurry up. No, what was that noise? The engine cracked one of its nuts. Come on, put that tin lid on and come back here and let's get on with it. All very well. But no matter what's your job, it should be followed at with proper conscientiousness. Stop that. Take ivory carving, for instance. What? I said take ivory carving. Stop that, I tell you. I don't want anything more to do with you, Mr. 
small piece of whatever your name is. No more dumb time with you blinking mill neither. This engine wants to be getting more juice. Oh, well, in, in that case, I can sympathize with it. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry I forgot. Would you mind opening the window? Do you want me to die? We must have air. I've got some, thank you. All right, then. If you don't want to do it, I'll have to do it myself. No, 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 no. You must do a thing like that. I, I'll do it. You stay where you are. After all, a little walk might bring the blood back to my feet. Can't you? There's a catch somewhere. Yes, I think there is. Push it from the top. I can't, it won't. Then pull it from the bottom. Gosh. And fix it halfway open. It won't. It, it, it has not one of those uh, little things. Oh, never mind. Leave it. Mind alone and get back to bed. Isn't it time to get up yet? I'm sick of this spot. I'm going to find a fresh position. I believe the chimney is going to smoke. <coughs> Thank you very much. <coughs> You're too puffed, Slate. <coughs> of course, Peter. That smoke must be caused by the window. Well, I'm not going to sleep under the window, I can tell you that. <coughs> Peter. Peter, it's fancy. Can't you hear her? No. Oh, Peter, please, go on and fetch her. No, thanks. Oh, Peter, please. Oh, oh, my left leg's gone numb. All down my left side's numb. I, I, I can't do that. Oh, why make such a fuss about it? Have you no regard for dumb animals? Yes, when they are dumb. Poor Pansy. You can easily get to the stables. You said so yourself. Yes. Bring her in your arms and don't let her bark. Yes. If I find her, she'll never bark again. Number one, 
What is the meaning of this? My husband has gone to fetch the dog. She was howling. fiddling about with that thing. Listen to me, do you hear? Uh, uh, do you know a place called, uh, called, uh, what is it? How should I know? What? You mean to tell me you don't know where you're going? Me? Blocky. Don't you interfere. Oh, yes, me and Blocky. But I say, can you help me? I need lubrication. <laughs> By God, so do I. We wish to find the Maiden Blossom Hotel. Hotel, madam, there's no hotel there. It's a very small village. A hamlet, in fact. Its inhabitants barely number a score. I don't want a tourist guide to the place. I just want to know where it is, that's all. Only just down the road? Are you sure you can't help me to get oiled? Not unless you come, to. You'll find an inn. <laughs> you bet your sweet life I will. If it was him, there's one to be found. <laughs> go dog hunting in the rain without getting wet. You must take off those wet clothes at once. <laughs> Not in here. You can't catch pneumonia. I can. Now don't be so silly. Go on. You can't sleep in wet clothes. Oh, all right. If you're so modest, I will put out the light. Well, you needn't have done that. I'm only going to take off my coat and my shoes. Have you got your shoes off? Not yet. It's difficult to balance. I've only got one foot on the ground. <laughs> then take it off. Oh. Oh. Good heavens, what's happened? By the light. By the light. All right, all right. By the light. Oh, what have you done now? I overbalanced and caught hold of the jug. Well, it made a terrible noise. I think it only sounded loud. Is the jug broken? Yes, I think it is a bit. But the handle's all right. I'll soon see to this. <laughs> What are you up to now, may I ask? My husband was undressing and knocked over the jug. Oh, I don't worry. I'll pay for the jug. <laughs> Go away, Dennis. Oh. 
Now we've gone and shook up number one. <laughs> I'll go and settle her, and when I come back, I expect to find you in bed like a respectable man. Come on, lady. Hurry up, Peter. Take off those wet clothes. But I can't take off my... In, in here? Rubbish. You can get behind that curtain. We are absolutely and utterly compromised. Compromised nonsense. What does she matter? It isn't only she. We are husband and wife in the register book. I know, Peter. But we are all right in the book from which there is no rubbing out. <laughs> you can laugh. You'd laugh while Rome fiddled. And we've been identified by that parson chap. Up Jenkins or whatever his damn silly name is. Where is he? Peter! Look how I've got my trousers off. Don't be childish. Bring your trousers here and press them under the mattress. Yes, right, here, I'll, I'll take them for you. Leave them alone, Janice. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Look at that. We do not now. Leave them alone. I want to press them in the creases. Right. Pressing people's buckers about like that. Oh, oh I, I beg your pardon. Sorry. Ah, oh. Peter! Peter. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Trousers. All right. Coming here, messing about like that. Gladys, get you to bed. All right. And what is the meaning of that? Hasn't he got his nightshirt? Yes, go away, will you? Why don't you look after him? Oh, I knew how to manage my late husband. <laughs> no wonder he's late. What is that noise? Alfred, who told you to open that front door? It is fast closing. She can't get a drink out of her eyes. What was that? Ooh, I don't know. Some drunk trying to get a drink. This is very unexpected. Not in the least. Well, now that you are here, let me introduce you. Margaret, this is my mother-in-law, Mrs. Bone. This is Major Bone, my father in ditto. How do you do? How do you do? Stop that! Won't you sit down? <laughs> I'm afraid the space is rather limited. So you are the woman? Yes, I am the woman. <laughs> and this is the man. <laughs> I admit that for the moment his costume is rather effeminate. You shameless profligate, you. I find you here in this room with this scarlet woman. What color? How dare you say a thing like that in a room like this? You spend the night with your alleged wife. She in bed and you in a towel. But my trousers are there. Where? Under the mattress, if you want them. Allow me. George, stop that. They will stay where they are till Barbara comes in the morning. Barbara? Yes. This will be evidence enough. Evidence of what? Yes, well, look here, there isn't another room in the house. They're all completely occupied. Oh, this is all very restless. Out you go, all of you. But I can't go out in the night in the middle of the rain. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who you are, but this is my hotel, and out you go. And you, with your lies and deceit and sin. I quite agree. And don't you interfere. Quite right. Oh, and as for you, out you go, you, you chic. Chic? Yes. Out you go. Oh, I don't, I don't, I go quietly. And you go, too. <laughs> All of you. But where to? I can't stay here alone. No, you don't. I mean my daughter to see this room as it is. You can go into the parlor. Out you go. She's a very pretty little thing. 
Thank you. We've got to spend the night downstairs. I don't mind. Anywhere. George, stop that. Let that creature alone and come with me. Yes, I know. That's all very well. But you, you, you thought of that before it happened. How could I have thought of it before it happened when it hasn't happened? How dare you come and disturb me just when I was comfortably settled for the night? And how dare you try and drag a weak man away from his wife? So you think I'm that kind of woman, do you? You poisonous-minded old witch. What? Witch? Oh. Oh, this is insufferable. What about uh, going into the bar? It's locked up. Well, I, I mean to say, I'm, I'm entitled to a drink. I, I'm staying here, aren't I? Yes, I'm afraid so. Well, you can try. I'm going to bed. You're quite right. What, what about picking the lock? I haven't got a pick. I should like a drink. I want to drown my sorrows. Quite right, my boy. It's the only thing for us. Let, let's combine. George, stop muttering. I want to go to sleep. Well, go there then. For the love of Mike, I'm not stopping you. Go anywhere you like. That. All right, my love. I was only just going to try to sleep in the car. That's not the way to pick it. Shh, quiet. You want to jam that thing in the catch? No, I don't. I want to catch this thing in the jam. Yes. You can't pick it like that. You want to put something in and, and pull out the spring. What, what if it hasn't got a spring? Well, pull out whatever it's got. You can't do it that way. You might just well stand here and say, open sesame. That's right. You, uh, go on, you, he knows you. You, you tell him that, um, that I'm, I'm spending the night here. This gentleman wants to spend most of the night here. Come on inside. Thank you. Making an early start this morning, sir. Yes, yes, I was going all the way last night. Only I left it rather late, so um, I put up here. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Which way do I go to, uh, to turn it? Take the road straight through down block for that. Down block? Oh. Yeah, all right. I'll find it. That bloke's an MP. Go on. Yes, I saw it on his bag. A printed label. Claw Dickett, MP. Mr. and Mrs. Love. That's not us. Remarks. Most comfortable. That certainly is us. <laughs> this is what appeals to them. Mr. and Mrs. Ickett, room number two. Yes, remarks. Give me a pen. I will take charge of this for the present. Mm. 
You can have your key. Ah, will you go up to that room and get into your clothes? Certainly I will, I want to. I'm as cold as ice. You wait till you get to the next world. And when she's done, you can go up and get into your trousers and go. No, I can't. My wife's coming. Besides, I want some breakfast. Oh. Well, you won't get a bite out of me. I don't want one. I'm a vegetarian. I desire to wash. Have you a bathroom? There's a tap upstairs. A <laughs> tap! By gad, that's been a dirty night. Listen, Bone, I'm in a terrible fix. Be a sport and help me out, will you? It's all very well, but it's no easy matter. But she ought not to doubt me. It isn't as if I were you. No. What? What do you mean? Well, I, I mean, my record's pure. Well, it isn't mine. <laughs> I like that. Sure am I. Try and help you. And you start to abuse me. That's not the way to get assistance. I, I don't mean that. I mean, you ought to know what I should say to her. After all, you're an expert. Do you really think so? <laughs> well, that's very, very nice of you. Oh, that's all. Well, I mean, yeah, I... I, I, I don't know, it's, it's very difficult, you know, it's not, it's not really playing the game. But oh, what does it matter? I'm a man of the world, and you're a very nice boy. Oh, please. So I don't see why you shouldn't have the benefit of my experiences. It ain't a bit of use, he's strange, he? I know, I know where he belongs. Well. Now listen to me. When Barbara arrives, you stand here looking uh, bewildered and ill you. That'll be easy. <laughs> now, the first thing she'll say will be, Peter, what is this I hear? What is this I hear? Yes. They all say that. Oh, oh I, I didn't know that. Oh, Lord, yes. You, you can lay the odds on that. Mm. Then you turn round to her and say, It's nothing, darling. Surely you know me better than that. Better than what? Better than what? Better than what? What, what? Oh. Oh, better than what? Yes. Lord, I wonder what, what you were talking about at the moment. Oh, sorry. Better than what she'd heard. Oh, I see. Then she's heard something. You bet your sweet life she has. Oh. Then I'll step into the breach. Out of the bath. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's all right. And I'll say to her, Oh, believe me, Barbara, you're utterly wrong. And then you must tell her the tale. What tale? Well, the tale of the old iron pot. The old iron pot? Well, I believe it, 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 it was another, another way of saying, uh, spin her the yarn. Ah, this would be a good one. You say that Hitchcock stayed here with his wife. Hitchcock? You, you mean Hickett? Well, hot skittish, cock, cock, kick, ain't it body matter? You say that he stayed here with his wife, and you pushed on and stayed elsewhere. By Jove, Bone, that's fine. Shall we try it now? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't mind. Right, you are now. You be Barbara. Well, I don't know. That's, that's pretty difficult. Yes. Oh, well, I'll, I'll have a pommy. Good. Well, you stay here, mm -hmm. and I'll go out and come in. As Barbara? Yes. God. Now, supposing, supposing she comes from here. Yes. But that's the front door. Oh, is it? 
Yes, well, there's no occasion to be as realistic as all that. Bewildered and ill-used. What's that? Oh, that, that's in case she knocks. Darling. Peter, what is this I hear? It's nothing, darling. Surely you know me better than that. Ah. Then she'll say, Peter, you've been false to me. What? That's good. Hold that. Hold that. Now, now I'll be me. Believe me, Barbara, you're utterly wrong. wrong. And then you go on with the sale. And you go back to the bar. Thank you very much. That's a very nice kind thought of yours. That's great, Bone. Then there's a visitor's book. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Hickett, not in my handwriting. Everything's cut and dried. Now I'm going to put on my trousers. Now, look here. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. You needn't say it. You're going to take something, for instance. Oh, thanks, Governor. Not at all. I'll show you where it is. Bone. Thank you, Bone. Thank you. It's all right, my boy. Not at all. I hope one of these days you'll be able to do as much for me. Now, if you will kindly step this way. Peter, what is this I hear? It's nothing, darling. Surely you know me better than that. It's nothing, darling. Surely you know me better than that. Oh, good morning. Are Mr. and Mrs. Hickett still here? I'm not yet open to the public. Quite enough trouble here without you. Trouble? Alfred, if any of those persons attempt to leave, mind they don't go without they pay. Surely she doesn't mean the Hicketts. Aye, there's been trouble. In and out of his bed all night he were. He lost his dog, he lost his trousers, he grubbled up his room and he burst his jug. Lost his dog? Why, look. Well, well, that's splendid. The dog's been found. They'll be delighted. I'll go and tell them. Eh, uh, I, I found her. Excuse me. Can you tell me the way to it? Hello, where did you get there? Where the deuce did you get that dog? I found her down and on. She belonged here. She belonged to a lady. Well, I know who she belongs to. Here, give it to me. No, no, you, no, you don't. Find in, be delivering. What? Look here. No, no, no. Here. 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 Will you give her to me? No. She belonged in here. He's quite right, sir. I called him myself to say the dog was found. Why, what do you know about the dog? It belongs to a man and his wife who were staying here for the night on their way to Lady Bunter's. Well, Lady Bunter's is where I'm going to myself. So this is Mrs. Hickett's dog. That's right. Mr. and Mrs. Hickett's car broke down and they had to spend the night here. Mr. and Mrs. Hickett? Nonsense. I can tell you on very good authority that Mr. Hickett spent last night at Haybury on his way from London. Indeed he did not. Uh, if you'll pardon me, he spent last night getting in and out of bed after his dog, poor fellow. From all accounts, he and Mrs. Hickett had a very rough time. Besides, I saw them here myself last night. Oh, then you know Mr. Hickett. Uh, oh, yes, I, I knew his wife before. She introduced me to him. He's Hickett, the MP, you know. Uh, uh, I was agreeably surprised. A very decent fellow. I'd always been told that the man was a bit of an ass. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, well, my man. Oh, I, I thank you, sir. I thank you. Uh, you, you needn't worry any more about it. No, sir. Now, would you be kind enough to put the dog in my car? In your car, sir? Yes, it'll be quite safe in there. 
I'll see that Mrs. Hickett gets it. Right you are. Well, glad to have been of some service. Uh, come along, come along. Now, no snapping, no snapping. <laughs> come along, come along. Well, I'll see you downstairs. Don't you speak to me. I wasn't. There's only one place I'd like to see you. Oh. Norman? Oh, excuse me. I'm looking for a couple. Oh, will you go and step this way? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that. Uh, are you the manageress? Manageress? Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought that looked like the hotel register. It is the register. Why? Uh, may I see it, please? Certainly not. Certainly, yes. Give the gentleman the book. There you are, sir. There's a book. Father, where are the pens and inks and blotting paper? Where are they? Did you stay at this hotel last night, sir? Well, in and out. Is this your name? Yes. Why shouldn't it be? Because it happens to be mine. Oh. Well, then you better have it. <laughs> Will you explain? I can do that. No, no, no. I'll tell Marguerite. Marguerite? Yes, my wife. Your wife. Our wife. <laughs> He spent the night in her room. I'll prove it. I'll find the landlady. Is this true? Well, the landlady wouldn't let us in unless we were married, and so we were married. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we carried on as if we were. What? No. Oh. Why wouldn't the landlady let you in unmarried? Well, because she's a sort of Prussian Baptist. Well, that's not good enough. Oh, I'm sorry. I've always had good reason to regard my wife as a sweet and innocent woman. Then believe me, you are utterly wrong. Pull yourself together. This is something entirely different. Is it? Yes. This is the husband. The husband? Yes, the husband. Oh, that's very awkward. <laughs> Where's the landlady? Gone to get some milk. Where from? Well, from the cow. <sighs> You, where's the cow? Being milked. But where's the cow being milked? Well, you knows where they milk a cow, don't he? I say, have a cow there, have a cow. Do you mean to tell me that you couldn't sleep anywhere else? I mean to tell you I couldn't sleep anywhere at all. Rock, that's past belief. Oh. I won't put up with it. All right, all right. Get in, Stop that. We won't have that. Rule it into me for a moment. I am a man of the world, and I happen to be the father of this man's wife's daughter. Is this your father-in-law? Yes, I'm afraid it is. What? Good! Darling, how marvellous! That's all very well. What about this man? Well, what do you think? Go on. <laughs> Look at him. Tell me what you think. No, you're quite right. Oh. Impossible. What? What's impossible? Is he talking about me? I can explain it all, darling. Very well, then take him away and explain. Go on. Puff. I get you hear that. I won't stand that. He puffs at me. No, 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 no. Leave him alone, leave him alone. Besides, he didn't puff at you. He puffed at me. Did he? Yes. Oh, well, that's all right then. Well, well that's all right anyway, boy. We're, we're over that jump. Yes, rather. What's that? I get it, sir. Who? Well, he's weird. Carver in the bar. Great Scott! Well, listen, I'm all right. You go in the bar. Yes. And, and, and don't forget, she'll say, Peter, what is this I hear? Yes. What is this I hear? And I say, it's nothing, darling. Surely you know me better than that. Yes. <laughs> and then me? Yes. Um, uh, believe me, Barbara, you're utterly wrong. That's right. Now, one moment. My attitude. Bewildered and ill used. Yes. That's all right. That's right. That is. That is. That is. It. Peter, what is this I hear? Yes. And better than that, utterly wrong. Right, sure. That's enough. I'll go in the bar. Quick. Yes. Barbara, darling. Peter, what is this? Well, go on. What, what is this you, you what? What is this I find? You, you find? <laughs> don't, don't you, don't you hear anything? What? <laughs> oh, it, it, it's nothing, darling. Surely you don't know me as well as all that. Oh. But, Peter, what's happened? Oh, oh, what's, what's happened? Oh, I, I can soon tell you that, I, I think. Uh, I, I hope. <laughs> now, Mr. Um, Hardcastle, or whatever your name is, if you will kindly pass your pot. So we took a car after you, you see. We had a breakdown, so I had to come here. 
Yes, I heard that. Oh, you heard that? Oh, well, now hear this. <laughs> so along here came Mr. Hickett in his car. He was going to the Bunters too, funnily. So he stayed here with Mrs. Hickett, which I thought was very, very nice of him. And I, uh, I pushed on and stayed where else? Uh, elsewhere. But why didn't you stay here too? Well, when you see, darling, you see, there are only two rooms here, and the, the Hickets had one. Then why didn't you have the other? Well, well darling, because, because there's an old lady in bed there. Oh. Yes, and she wanted to be alone. <laughs> so I went on, rang up the Bunters, heard you were not there, and came back here this morning. Oh, Peter, yeah. then I need never have had any doctor anxiety. Oh, believe me, Barbara, you're utterly wrong. Well meant, but a bad spot. Father, are you here? Well, I... I thought so. Is Mother here? No. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> Peter, where did you stay last night? Oh, uh, well, I said last night. Oh, no, I, I went to, a, to the next town and stayed at another pub. What was it called? Uh, what was it called? Oh, yes. That's right, yes. You mean the name of the pub? The name of the pub was... Uh, the cow and litter. Mm -hmm. Nonsense, Peter. Cows don't have litters. No. No, of course not. not. Uh, it, uh, it's only a name, isn't it? Oh, if it comes to that, pigs don't have whistles, do they? Mm -hmm. well, now, if you will excuse me a moment, I've come over rather faint. I'd like to see Mother. But I don't worry about Mother. Oh, here's Mrs. Hickett. I'd rather see Mother. What? You'd rather see Mother than Mrs. Hickett? <laughs> you must be feverish. Are you Mrs. Wickham? Yes. I am. Oh, I'm so glad you've come. I hope you realize now there was nothing the matter. Well, of course, now that I know you stayed here with Mr. Hickett. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, nothing, Daniel, nothing. Mr. Hickett did stay here last night, didn't he? Oh, yes, good old Hickett. <laughs> of course Hickett stayed here last night. What do you mean by saying I stayed here? Claude, you're being very stupid and interfering. I believe what you tell me. But I won't endorse lies. Peter, you've been lying to me. Have I? Oh, well, let me try again. <laughs> you, darling, I must tell you the tale of the old copper pot. Oh, come on, we'll get out of this. He can get out of it as best he can. Oh. Peter, is there anything I can say to help you? No, there isn't. If you are a sensible girl, you will realize what a nice husband you have. Nobody could have been nicer to me than he was last night. Now, look here, you listen to your old daddy. He's a man of the world. I won't listen. You missed the train on purpose. You brought her here, you stayed in her room, and you told lies. I'm going back home. No, 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 Barbara. Barbara. Oh, she's gone. What shall we do? Well, if you want something to do, you better come in here. No, 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 you can't let your wife go like that. I love her. You love my wife? No, no, of course not. You, 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 you are both. Yes, that's all I mean. I was going to say. Yes, but don't waste time saying. We've got to get her back. Come on. She's gone. Here, put me on her back. What's up? Don't argue. I've got to catch that car. Why, it's life and death. Come on, oh, no, I say, no, 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 you go on. Stay ordered. Stay ordered. Stay ordered. Stay ordered. Darling, don't be cross with me after all I've done. Oh, I know, I mean, after all I've tried to do, Barbara. Oh, Peter. Oh, Barbara. 